Hey, good morning, y'all. It's, uh, what is it? It's Tuesday, and, uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the past couple weeks. Um, I know I was supposed to start filming again and doing some more videos when I got back off vacation, but, um, we've had turn of events, and, you know, in life that can mean some things lose priority, and uh, YouTube was one of those things for me that uh, kind of lost priority for a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to m making like scheduled um, videos anymore because uh, just too much going on. We don't do the holidays um, typically like normal people do. You know, once my kids grew up and figured out Santa Claus, we kind of stopped. So, um,. We don't decorate, we don't have a tree, we just don't do the whole thing anymore. December is just December for us. Um, but also my um, my dog, I have a 16 year old um, Minpin Dachshund mix that um, I've had for 15 years and she's 16. Um, she's not been doing well. She's tiny. She's only 11, 12 pounds at best, and she's having neurological issues that are causing her to uh, fall down. Uh, she can't keep her balance. Um, she's already got doggy dementia. She's been, um, the last time I was into the vet, the vet said, you know, um, dogs can develop this. She stares. She has like, like, absence seizures sort of where she just stares um, she doesn't shake or anything but she can kind of just stand and stare at the wall for you know three or four minutes um, and then she'll snap out of it she's not a frisky puppy anymore that's for sure she sleeps you know a good 18 20 hours a day in her queen bed you know and um, she's my baby she's my remaining baby so, I know y'all know what that feels like. Uh, if you've had a pet for any length of time, uh, they become your kids. So, I'm, I'm worried about her. Um, every morning is different now. We wake up, sh we check on her. Um, her diet has changed. She won't eat a regular food anymore. I think it hurts her mouth or her teeth. Um, or maybe she's just too lazy to chew. I don't know. So, we've switched it over and kind of made it a little easier for her to eat, but she's still eating, she's still drinking, she's still pottying. Um, she can't go up and down the stairs, we have to carry her now, so, um, you know, that's a big kind of stressor in my brain right now. So, that takes up a lot of brain power for me, and uh, my son just moved from his old crappy tenement apartment. Um, my son and his partner moved in together last Christmas into this crappy old place and um, they've moved into a really nice place now. So we helped them this past week move and yesterday was the day they turned the keys into the old place. So I went over last night and used their washer and dryer, which they have now, and uh, turnabout is fair play. You know, they washed their clothes at my house for quite a quite a bit of time so I'm gonna afford myself on them the same kind of uh, luxury since I don't have a washer and dryer but um, so that was taking up some of my time and um, of course uh, I don't know if I mentioned this but I'm gonna start looking for a actual job again you know my dream of building my own brand and Having, having my own business, storefront business, uh, that incorporated wellness and weight loss, um, is going to have to wait for a little while. You know, I think uh, when Joe and I talked about it and we both decided that, you know, it might be a good idea for me to get an actual job right now to kind of accelerate our financial, um, the, because we want to buy a house eventually, um, again, and we have the money from the last sale of the last house, 
but you know with moving and all that stuff um, it can get pricey and uh, so um, I think I'm, I'm gonna slip back into a, a regular job so I just started looking for a job this past week and you know nobody wants to hire a 50 year old there's definitely ageism out there but I'm spreading myself within the community, medical-wise, um, seeing what's available, putting myself out there, and uh, we'll see what happens. So um, today I'm taking mental health day. Um, I'm having one of those days where I don't want to be around actual people, and I'm probably going to stay at home with my dog. And make sure she's okay, maybe clean my trailer, and um, enjoy the weather. It's going to be about 65 today, so that's awesome. And maybe hit the gym later. We'll see what happens. So I just wanted to check in, you know, and um, let you all know I hadn't disappeared completely. I'm still uh, ketoing on. I'm working on body fat now instead of um, really... I, I don't work on weight anymore because after the vacation and I dropped, you know, what I had gained during the vacation, I'm back to my normal size, but my body fat is something I'm always working on. I started out, I think, at like 30% and got it down to about 21. I'd like to be at 18, 19 would be my... Um, ideal for me but I don't know what that's going to take to get me there I'm still doing a basic uh, keto day and I'm throwing in some fasting here and there so a lot of times I'm eating breakfast these days um, mostly out of boredom I, when I wake up in the morning I'm generally not hungry but sometimes it's nice to just have a keto muffin and watch the news and drink your coffee and you know with the dog in my lap so uh, it's mostly out of boredom but um, I think if I got back into trying to drop my body fat I would cut out my breakfast and work out fasted again that seems to burn most of my body fat that's the best way for me to burn my body fat and then I would drop my um, lunch and dinner to probably just meat and veg um, and try to do minimum amounts of oil or dressing. See, that way your body's forced to burn the fat it has rather than the fat you're ingesting. Also, it's better to go, say, 5 o'clock to noon the next day and give your body a chance to work on that fat overnight. You know, um, your um, carbohydrate uh, oxidation works overnight where everything else is down-regulated. That is not. So you're going to burn those excess carbs, say from veg or whatever you're eating, through the night. And then you're going to start working on that fat. So I always tell people if you're going to eat carbs, you're better off actually eating carbs at night. Because then you have time for your body to burn those off while you're sleeping. Um, and I know people say, oh, exercise is the only thing that burns, you know, carbs out of your, uh, glucose out of your muscles and your liver. And do your reading, do some research. Actually, um, you, I mean, you do, when you exercise, burn those carbs, you know, out of your muscles and your liver. But they're also burnt overnight. So... I mean, you could do a double whammy and eat your dinner, go work out, and burn most of that glucose out of your muscles, and then go to sleep, and then not eat until noon. That would probably really accelerate it. But I'm not hardcore like that, and I don't like to work out at night. <laughs> so I prefer to work out in the morning or around lunchtime rather than at night, just because of my schedule and where I live. So anyway, that's what I'm working on is um, body composition more than anything else. Flexibility is always a thing for me. 
and um, you know you can't you can't tell your body where you want to lose where you want to lose the weight from I am heavy in my hip so from my waist to the top tops of my knees that's my the area I carry everything in even now at 124 my heaviest places are between my waist and my knees so what do I do to you can't spot lose but I can work that area and and kind of build that musculature that supports that area to give the skin a better look over top of it and it may be even if I lost say another 3% of my body fat I still might be heavy in that area I'm never gonna be a perfect shape not a perfect shape that I want obviously I mean considering the shape I used to have was just round this is much better but now that I've hit a certain limit well the limits in my head but now that I've reached this point I have to change my expectations of my body so I, I throw away everything that was in the past and I say okay this is where I'm starting from and and don't rely on history to tell you what can happen so I'm gonna keep a positive attitude and say look this is what I have to work with and this is where I want to be so I'm gonna get as close to that as I can and just keep on moving towards that so may, who knows another percent or two I might change my mind and say you know what I really like the way this looks you know a lot of people think they lose too much body fat they get gaunt um, you can see all their ribs and you know their hip bones and whatnot I'm not to that point yet not really so I'm not concerned about it but I keep keto on and feel good um, I need to make an appointment to go have my vit uh, levels checked my iron all that stuff because I feel like I might be low on iron but I can't tell so you know I know if I'm starting to get really lethargic that's usually B12 and iron and so I'll up those but then I'm still lethargic so I don't know I know that it takes time to metabolize and integrate those things into your um, hematological systems so to speak so it doesn't happen overnight you, you can't unless you're having infusions directly into your bloodstream if you're taking orals you know like a b12 and iron that kind of thing first of all you're not using all the iron that you're ingesting not just because of the gastric bypass but because inherently your body doesn't work that way so you have to have consistency and it has to be over a, a you know a bit of time and then your levels will start to rise incrementally so you have to take a lot to uh, to change you know your your levels so get those checked I mean get your your uh, your blood work done often especially if you're um, compromised like we are you know with gastric bypass all right y'all I'm gonna go um, I'll try and make another video when stuff happens you know uh, probably not as often as I was as I would like but I'll do what I can all right see y'all later bye